so we do have a quest now from Zukazu that we have not gotten before. Uh, for this one, we do need Dunban in the party. He's the one that's going to be commenting, so we'll go ahead and pop him in. And we will see what Zukazu has to say. Uh, in order to get this one to unlock, you need to have um, kind of gotten to uh, Frontier Village and have Ricky join the party and completed, a, 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 I believe, a, something for Hero Pawn Quest, the one that he, you need to do in actual, to actually have Ricky join the party. Uh, you need to have completed a Little Brothers fight, which is what we just did. You need three and a half star affinity in the region. And once again, Dunban comments. Really? Long time no see. Tsukazu feel quite good since deciding not to travel. Not so bad in this colony. But there's one thing worrying me. Could you tell me more? Such concern for their fellow man is what makes ha the Hom so strong. They separated that into two sentences. That's one sentence. We Hyentia have much to learn. You look worried about something. Whatever it is, just be true to yourself. That's what's important. In my granny pawn. She adopts Ukazu, but she no treat me like family. All because Zukazu Napon. Zukazu is so sad. She never wants to see me or play with me. If Zukazu have to stay here, he want to get along with Granny Pon. That way Zukazu needs your help. Granny Pon only ever listen to what Jerok say. But everyone in Colony respect you, so it should work if you try. You've got to help me. I know how hard it can be when things don't go well with family. You understand? It thanks to you that me and little brother made up. Next, Ukazu need to make Granny Pond like him. Yeah, they made up. They're yellow now. Uh, but we did get thawing relations. Zukazu has decided to make his life in Colony 9. But there is one problem. Help him find a compromise with his grandmother who is less than friendly to him. I need to collect three lots of maternal armu milk from plain armus in Colony 9. 4,500 gold, 2,500 experience, and a Meditor Nasher. Just, just Meditor. I'm like Mediator. Meditator. Meditor. That's all it says. Thank you. First, the cause need maternal armu milk from plain armus. That perfect for making biscuits. Not a problem. Consider it done. Yes, let us aim to resolve this matter as quickly as possible. That make her feel better. Then when she in good mood, give Granny Pond this. And then we get an old ring to give. Uh, so apparently I am a little short on the uh, maternal armu milk. Zukazu counting on you. Zukazu's happiness in your hands. And that's all he has to say. Um, I don't think that I actually have... Wait. Are you serious? Zukazu has them! <laughs> Trade! Zukazu has maternal armor milk on him. What the hell? Seriously? He totally does! So now it's trading time. All seeing eye, magic stones, tasty ansel wings, ferris blood, ratio glyph. We'll get the ratio glyphs. That's what they're for. All right, so there's one. Zukazu has the thing that he's asking me to get. I don't think I've ever seen this before. I think I heard about that once that uh, there was a character who had the thing that they were asking for you, but I did not expect it to be one of the more difficult things to get in the area, right? We have to go to to one of the tougher areas in order to get this done, and he's just got it on him. All right, there's the third ratio glyph. Goodbye, friend. All right, so we got an update to the quest. We need to go talk to Marsha now. Should be easy enough, but why couldn't he just give it to her himself? Why do we have to do it? There's a few things like that. This one was not uh, carefully planned, I would say. But Marsha should be over here. There you go. It seems you've been able to halt my grandson's argument. Thank you. It was dreadful to think Jarok might get himself hurt. A present? But this is maternal armu milk. This will make my biscuits particularly sumptuous. Thank you most kindly. Hmm? Is there something else? 
And now we return the old ring to Marsha. Was there something else you wanted to give me? I can't believe it. I thought I'd never see this again. What? Zukazu gave it to you? This belonged to my late husband. How did he ever manage to find it? The truth is, my husband had a bit of trouble with a group of Nopon, and that's how he lost his life. Some part of me must have been blaming Zukazu for his death. I'm such a stubborn old woman. I've treated Zukazu so badly. Would you mind waiting a moment? It may be too late to, for apologies, but would you take these to him? Baking is all I'm skilled at, so biscuits will have to do. And tell him I wouldn't mind if he came to keep me company later. And we get some more of her biscuits! We don't get biscuits from her too often. I, you know, they're one of the first quests that you get, but then, like, she talks about it the rest of the game, but I don't think you actually get it again. Uh, this is the second time, though. So let's give these over to Zukazu. Let him know that everything's all right. Zukazu, things are going to get better now. How did it go? What? These Granny Pond's biscuits? You giving them to me so it went well? Zukazu always wanted to eat these. Zukazu always used to just watch Jerok eating them. Zukazu never got to eat the biscuits before? What the hell? <laughs> Don't worry about it. It was nothing. It was nothing, you say. Only a man of your skill could truly say that. Are you sure, Melia? I am not a good judge of myself, but I'll gladly take your word for it. Nom 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 nom! Not that delicious! But Zukazu so happy! Zukazu glad he in Colony 9! Zukazu know every day we'll be happy from now on! Thank you! And we have completed thawing relations. Thanks to Zukazu, Marsha no longer has a prejudice against the Napon. 4,500 gold, 2,500 experience, and a Meditor Nasher for our trouble. Um, that's for Ricky, but no. No. And an update to the affinity chart. No achievement, so we're still not at 5-star affinity. Uh, so we have... What do we have? Uh, reconciled between... Marsha and Zukazu, and close brothers between Jerok and Zukazu. So it ended up working out all right at the end. Zukazu felt relieved after getting beaten by Jerok. After all, Zukazu's home is here. Zukazu lived here forever. But Zukazu happy he spent more time with Granny Pond Marsha. This colony's so great. Zukazu want to live here forever. Uh, let's go and talk to her about this. See if there's anything else. Uh, she has to say. You never know. It might be new, even if we don't necessarily get affinity. And if it's new, I want to see it. She should still be here. No? No, I'm on the wrong side, I think. She'll be over here. There we go. Thank you for all your help. I feel I've been too hard on Zukazu. He may be adopted, but he's still my grandson, just like Jerok. From now on, I'll be treating him to twice as many biscuits. Or you could just give them the equal amount. That would make sense. Not that I'll love Jerok any less. They're such close brothers and such wonderful grandsons. So, new things, but uh, nothing particularly uh, affinity increasing, which is kind of what I need right now. So, it is time to head out once more. We are going to head to the Glowing Obelisk in Satoru Marsh. Uh, we have some work to take care of on top of the Exile Fortress again. Shouldn't be too difficult to get there. The big bad enemy is only level 32 as opposed to level 31 that uh, Godwin was. Like, he is so much more difficult than he needs to be. If he was like level 28, 29... It would work out so much better, I think. But yeah, he's he's a standalone around here. And I don't think they realized how difficult that was. Uh, a lot of people said that it was the first actual check on how good you were as a player uh, when you fight uh, Reckless Godwin here. That he's actually the the first time that you need to start using tactics. And that before then, you didn't really need to. I kind of disagree. 
uh, because I felt like I needed to use tactics a little bit earlier on. Maybe I was just a little under leveled. I don't feel like I was uh, considering how many of the side quests that I did. Uh, but I felt like he was the first guy that made me really just kind of feel like I needed to get lucky in order to win. He's not even here. He is still dead. So we'll just pass right through you guys and out the back. And we will head up top and finally make it to where we need to place the giant's mirror. Do I still want to go back to... Yeah. We'll head back to uh, take on Clifftop Firen as well in the Daksha Shrine. I don't, I don't believe I took her on. I might have. For a reason, I always want to say spiders are female. Mostly because those are the scarier ones. All right, let's examine the altar. A strange object has emerged. Daring of the giants. I want to. I want to change the party quickly, though. <laughs> I almost forgot. I want Shulk back in the party. Important. I need the AP on him. All right. So now we are up against the deified queen. Only level 32, but damn, they've got they've got a lot of defense. All right, down goes one. More burst affinity. Now lots of damage being done over time. down you go that's number two what do we get for our trouble we get queen cocoons which i don't think i need anything from this one same chest all right but we got the daring of the giants that's something oh there's a third one over here we cannot let the deified queens live oh hey chain attack let's do it Uh, we'll start with a Minato, because it's the only thing that, like, I can kind of transfer over. Because if I do a red, then it's not going to work out well. Alright, Ricky can do... Burning it. You know what? Freezing it. Celia chan All right, backslash. Down you go. Okay, uh, let's leave that behind. Let's grab that and let's actually head. Where do I want to go first? Let's head back to the uh, Napon Merchant camp first, and then we'll go back and try to take on Clifftop Byron, just in case I didn't do that already. All right, white spiders came. They did. I, th I guess those were technically white spiders, even though I didn't necessarily see it. But we got the daring of the giants, and we're going to hold on to it, and we are going to use it later uh, at the very end of the game, right? Got the daring of the giants from the altar on Exile Fortress. But now you need something else. We need two other things. The double attack four. I will. I will hold on to that one. A lot of affinity in the region as well. So let's head back to the Bionis' leg. There's a few things that we can... Well, there's one thing that I want to do while we're there. I want to head back to the Daksha Shrine, which is a bit of a run, granted. I think I said I was going to forget if I did this one or not. I'm just not 100% sure whether I actually went to the Daksha Shrine and did anything there. So I'm hoping that I didn't so that this becomes worthwhile again. Um... But, in case I did, we're going to do it again. Not too difficult, level 30 monster. It's a bit of a run, though. Takes a while to get over there. But I do like the music here. It's one of my favorite tracks in the game. This one, Colony 6 during the day. There's some good tracks in this game. And it's something that I miss often when I play... Uh, some of the more modern RPGs, especially non-Japanese RPGs. 
Uh, they don't have like the full orchestra anymore. They kind of got rid of that. They do have some good music, don't get me wrong, but it, it doesn't have the impact a lot of the time that a lot of these games do. And I think that the music is one of the standout features of Xenoblade, that the, the music makes you feel like everything is on a grand scale. I hate using the word epic anymore. I loved using epic for a long time, but now it's kind of been overused. But this game I feel like does kind of earn the title epic and, and the things that you do are on a huge scale. And I think the music does help with that. And uh, the music in Bionis' leg, I feel like is really the first time that you kind of get the sense that you are in a gigantic world and the first time that you come here, it feels like the world has opened up for you. And the crazy thing to me is that the world just keeps opening up. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger until you kind of wrap things up on the conus. Uh, they cut you off from certain things before then, but um, it really just keeps on getting bigger and bigger. And it feels almost like it's too big to handle at some points, but it's still manageable by how it's separated all the time. Well, I came all the way here to, to try to fight the monster, but since the monster didn't come out, I'm gonna assume I already killed it. So we are ready to go. That is not what I wanted to do, but that is what happened. Uh, let's head back to uh, Machna Forest because there's definitely some things I wanna do around here. Uh, we need to go to the Waypoint Beacon. What's the purpose of me doing this? I have to think here. Uh, this is, this is actually something that I don't have yet. Yeah, this is, this is for a quest for Satata in, uh, Colony 6. But I'm gonna head down and get the, the Waypoint anyway. Because it is helpful. I have to remember how to actually get there. This is one of those weird ones where I think I know how to get there, and then next thing I know, I am struggling. Okay, so I think it is this way. How do I get up top there? I have to go around here. There we go. And we can head up top. Oh, I'm going to need some shawl mushrooms, definitely. All right, not gonna bother with the rest. Just gonna grab this one and drop down. I forget how many uh, how many collectibles are up there. But yeah, getting this now will help out with future quests. I do need to actually kill the bangs. I think. And an auto attack to win. And a delicious Vang tail. I think I need those. All right, let's head south from here. Napon Sage doesn't show up until you get the quest. This is where he would be at certain times of the day, of course. Very specific. I think it was like noon to three. It was not a lot of time. But we want to get this Divine Sanctuary, we also want to kill more of these things. Come on, auto attack. Auto attack, backslash, there we go. He's getting 23 AP, as everyone else is getting 9. Power of Gems. Damn it, Ricky, you were supposed to give me better treasure chest than this. I was so excited to have you back in the party. That showed up while I was here. All right, so let's head up and get the Divine Sanctuary. Landmark. I was thinking, I'm like, waypoint, that's not the right word. That's not the word they use. It's landmark for this one. But once we get it, once again, things will be a lot easier for me. 
All right, there we go. 416 AP, 144 skill points. Wow. How are you guys doing on skill points? Still need a thousand for you. And a little under 800. So I've gotten pretty much 200 skill points. Still need 800 to go. Jeez. All right, so now I have a whole list of things to do for people in Colony 6. So it looks like after this, I am finally ready to head to Frontier Village. And we're going to head to the Nopon Tower. There's so much for me to find around here still. But we will... Head into Frontier Village and talk to everybody here next time. I'm not necessarily looking forward to doing Nopon voices, but I don't think I have to do it too much this time. But we'll pick up from here next time. That is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. I've been Baller Scoop. I've been joined, as always, by my slowly getting skill point squad of Ricky, Shulk, and Melia. Ryan Dunban and Charla were along with us today. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.